Zucchini are so easy to save seeds from, but it's important to remember that you need to hand pollinate the zucchini that you're going to be saving seeds from. Zucchini can cross with other types of summer squash, ornamental gourds, most pumpkins, acorn squash, and also spaghetti squash. So the point of hand pollinating is to keep the bees from crossing your different varieties so that you can get pure seed and not get a pump zucchini. I've gotten a few of those before. So this is a female flower that opened this morning. The bees are busy, here comes one. He just visited a male flower, so he might come and pollinate this female flower. So at the base of this, there's already a small fruit you can see. So that's a female flower. These up here are male flowers. They're just on tall stems. There's no fruit at the base of that. It's just a tall stem. Let's see if I can see it inside. That's what a male flower looks like on the inside. So to hand pollinate these, I'm going to find two flowers that haven't opened yet. Here's a female flower with the fruit at the base, but the flower hasn't opened yet. So I'm going to take a piece of masking tape and I'll put it around the tip here to keep this flower from opening on its own. And then I'll find a male flower, ideally from a different plant, that also hasn't opened, and I'll do the same with that. Here's a male flower that hasn't opened yet, so I'll put a piece of tape around the top of this. And the night before these are going to open, they're going to have orange at the tips here. <clears throat> so it's easiest to tell if you come by in the evening, then you can tell which of these are actually going to open the next day. There's some smaller ones down here that those won't open for a few days yet. So I put the masking tape tightly around male and female flower <clears throat> to keep the bees from getting in there. So the next morning after I've taped these shut, I come out here, I pick the male flower, but I leave a handle to hang on to. I take the petals off so that I can use this like a paintbrush to paint the inside part of the female flower with pollen. If you want to, you can use male flowers from multiple plants so that you get some more genetic diversity without having to save a whole bunch of squash for seeds. So after I do that, then I'm going to shut this squash, shut this flower back up, and I'm going to put tape around this whole thing to keep it tightly shut so that the bugs can't get in there and mess up what I just did. And then for seeds, I want this zucchini to get huge. I normally pick them about that size, but for seed, you want them to get big and hard like a winter squash. So I'll actually leave this on here until the end of the season when I pick my winter squash. And then I'll cut it open and scrape out the seeds and I'll rinse them off and dry them for next year.